A 70-year-old Detroit woman speaking out tonight after she's targeted by thieves while she's asleep. It tops our news at 5.30. Those thieves stole her new car parked right outside her home. And now her story can hopefully help others. Sean Lay joins us live in Highland Park. And Sean, what do other people need to know about what happened to this woman? Yeah, it's something new that we're hearing about. She's asleep inside her house. Her new Jeep is on the street just a few feet away from the front door. Someone's able to break the window, get inside, somehow put it in neutral. Another car gets behind it, pushes it just a few blocks over to this driveway here. Now, the woman is on her way to the store. She sees her car, and so do Detroit Street watchers. This car is reported. It was just recently stole, so hopefully... It will be picked up today. That's Walter Gildersleeve, founder of Detroit Street Watchers Neighborhood Watch Group, videotaping something he doesn't see very often. Now the owner of the vehicle is here. I know it was a woman car, so the owner is here, y'all. Okay. He sees a lot as he patrols the this streets of Detroit. I I he sees plenty of stolen cars, but mind. never a stolen car being united with its owner. It's not every day the owner of the car I get to meet after the car been stole. That owner is Judy Pearson. She's 70 years old. She just got her Jeep SUV when it was stolen from her driveway on the city's east side. She herself went out to look for it. She found it behind this vacant house not far away in Highland Park. They stole the car from around from our house. Like I said, it was you could tell when the car is freshly stole compared to been sitting for a while. Walter was also in the area checking out abandoned houses. He spotted the stolen car as well and called police. Of course I'm mad. You think I'm not mad? I can't have anything and they come and push it in right here and I'm in my house sleep. We just caught up with Miss Person. Who wouldn't be upset about this? Just getting the new Jeep and then finding it on blocks right over here. Plenty of damage to that new Jeep. It's in the shop now. She does not know when she'll get it. Back to you guys. Well, Sean, do you know whether or not her wheels had those locks on them? The wheel locks? I see a lot of cars with those. Yeah, we talk about it a lot of time because we're seeing so many cars and SUVs left on blocks, even if they have wheel locks. Since they broke the window, Kimberly, they got her wheel lock uh, key. Uh, we were able to get the wheels off that way. Mm -hmm. So if you had that key, make sure it's not in the car yeah. in case someone's able to break in and get it. Yeah, good advice. Okay, Sean, we appreciate it.